hello and welcome this is the next video uh what was this this is uh big lots target walmart and deep discount so to start off i'm gonna run through uh the stores and the last one's gonna be the big lots uh picked up at target this was clearanced out or it was the online uh purchase and returned still sealed so they seem to mark this stuff down and that is uh ace fraley there you can a lot of glare on there that less glare spaceman didn't have this uh i haven't been i don't buy a lot of music anymore but uh track listing it was only a couple bucks, so I grabbed it and uh, picked this up when it was on sale. Looked interesting. I didn't realize it was as, like already a year old. Uh, did watch it. It was pretty good. Uh, good Boys. Um, not what I was expecting, but it is kind of weird when I see really young kids. Uh, pretty foul mouthed and stuff i know it's for the movie but it's just kind of weird the last one i got at target was uh the target exclusive uh packaging and that is wonder woman 1984 or wonder woman 84 whatever um watch it enjoyed it i mean it's superhero stuff um like some of the villains um, now this one I, I picked up at deep discount because I found it at a better price. This was during the, uh, Warner archive, uh, sale that they had going on. I ended up not getting anything from Warner because I found it cheaper somewhere else. Uh, deep discount had this, uh, I was going to get it from them, uh, Warner, but they wanted a lot more for shipping and everything else. Deep discount. I don't even think they charged for shipping. So I paid like 30 bucks for this. And that is the complete series of Teen Titans on Blu-ray. So it's all five seasons plus uh, Trouble in Tokyo movie. Which the DVD complete uh, collection does not include Trouble in Tokyo. You have to get that separate. So that's kind of weird that uh, it's the same thing but you don't get that other movie. So this is a six, uh, six disc set. Uh, I'd been wanting to pick this up for a while. I was glad to uh, find it at a much reasonable price. Now, uh, the few items I picked up at Walmart. Uh, I picked this one up is Willie's Wonderland. Now, I, I hadn't seen it. I, I mean, I've watched it since I've gotten it. Uh, this was like almost 20 bucks. I know it was between 15 to 20 getting it there. Target has it listed for 30. This is not worth 30. It, I don't even think it's worth the 20. Um, to me, the movie was all right. Nicolas Cage does not have one line in the movie. He makes some noises, but he does not speak at all. If you want to hear him talk, you have to watch the bonus features. <laughs> That's where you actually hear him say anything. But uh, the movie wasn't horrible. It, it was it was alright. I mean, it had some good uh, stuff in it. It was kind of interesting where the guy told him to take his breaks. And no matter what was going on, he went and took his breaks. And that's kind of how he kind of rejuvenated. But uh, oh yeah, I, didn't, I didn't hate the movie. I, I, I don't think it was as good as I was expecting it to be. Uh, I think the biggest disappointment was the fact that he didn't say one line in the whole film. I think that was the main reason. But definitely don't go buy it at Target because that's thirty dollars. Uh, next one I got at Walmart as well. Uh, I'd been looking to pick this up for a little while, and that is a superhero, an electrifying superhero origin story. Gundala 
Rise of a Hero. Um, this is an Indonesian film. This was real good. I enjoyed this a lot immensely. This was really fantastic. These foreign superhero movies are actually uh, quite well. I mean, it shows you his origin and how he grows up and uh, stops taking uh, shit from other people. And then how he ends up getting a superpower. Because the thing is, he's afraid of uh, the rain and the lightning because he seems to get struck by lightning. But ends up the lightning is his power uh, towards the end. You, you, you find that out. But uh, this was really good. Really good movie. Uh, another one I picked up was one of the newer ones is uh, Justice Society World War II. Uh, I have not watched this one yet. Uh, this one's running like 20 bucks as well. Really kind of hard to find them a little cheaper now. Uh, the next one, I, I believe I grabbed this one for five, and that is Nicolas Cage in Primal. I have not watched this yet, but I found it. It was the last one with a slip on it, so I kind of jumped on it. So I could get that slip sleeve. And another one, I have not seen any of these movies in this trilogy, but I kept hearing uh, that they were really good. And that is Keanu Reeves in John Wick. So the one thing I like about this is, uh, I think I paid like 25 is that the slip on it is different than the cover uh, and i do like the slip cover image way more than i do the actual cover art so i'm gonna have to sit down and watch this in a little run now everything else is from big lots uh i hadn't been in big lots in a while since i had seen uh, miranda's video that she went and i saw something i kind of wanted so i went and I, I started looking so the first thing that i was looking for that i saw in her video was this richard Pryor double feature some kind of hero and the busybody so kind of can't go wrong getting a double feature of richard Pryor. So i was happy to find that one in the store I was looking at. This other one I grabbed, didn't realize that I actually, I did have it, but this is a, a Macro Bay, or Macabre, well, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one, is Gangsters, Guns, and Zombies. Now, when I scanned this in, I was like, how do I have this already? But it was showing up, like, at a vague point, so sometimes when it shows up, it's like, another format or something so i had to look around and it was one of the dollar tree ones that we had gotten so kind of like getting the slip and the american version over it but i have to just check because this one actually states that they're special features and this one doesn't say anything about any special features on the back at least on the slip nope doesn't say anything about it, so i've got to check and find out uh, the next one that i picked up that uh she had shown which was also something from dollar tree so i upgraded to a blu-ray is uh my life as a zucchini so i wanted to grab it and i found it with the slip I watched this. This is really kind of an odd film. Um, it was all right. Nothing fantastic to me. But I kind of now wish I would have just watched the DVD that I had before I uh, upped it to a Blu-ray. Uh, I picked up... Uh, and this was three different haul runs that I did so they're not in any kind of order um, of when I picked them up at the Big Lots uh, this one's a more recent pick up from uh, Big Lots uh, and that is Truth or Dare but this is the Blumhouse release so I know this is different than the one that was in Dollar Tree 
which I know I just uh, saw it here. This is the Dollar Tree one. And this is the Blumhouse one. I have, out of, uh, I think I went to four or five different big lots. This is the only uh, one I'd seen. But I usually don't look through the DVDs as much as I do uh, the Blu-rays when I'm trying to look for stuff. Then I also picked up G.I. Joe Resolute. And another animated feature. Um, and they must be doing some kind of sale right now. Because the last two times I made two, made a purchase, I've gotten a discount on the stuff. So I don't know if they're just doing a sale. So just a heads up. When you go in, um, I'm not aware of it. But they might be just doing something to give you a discount. So, because like these were supposed to be three, and I ended up paying two and a quarter. And uh, not sure of all the prices, but some of the prices all dropped on stuff that I was getting. Uh, this one uh, I'd been looking at it for a while, and that is The Adventures of Tin Tin Season One. And I almost thought I actually had already purchased it. Uh, this one looked pretty interesting here is uh bring me the head of the machine gun woman uh, incredibly delicious hot ass kicker ain't it cool news uh this one this is this was a, a an earlier pickup that i had gotten from big lots which now only has one movie in here. I mean, I picked it up for, I think, two, but now there's only one in here worth me even hanging on to. And that is a triple uh, gut buster comedy pack, which is uh, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, unrated, uncut, and uncalled for, uh, Zoolander, and Kingpin. Kingpin's the only thing I don't actually already have on uh, any format. So I may end up going back and picking up the Blu-ray there for Kingpin. But uh, they are all on their separate discs. Uh, the classic one here is uh, Shirley Temple, Darling Double Feature, which is uh, Little Miss Marker and Now and Forever. I'm going to pick this up at a... Pretty low price. I usually keep all my Big Lots titles under five. I like picking them up closer to three, or even like their dollar eighty-eight prices and stuff. Uh, like this one was marked down, and that's the reason I grabbed it because I already picked up season one, and this is season eight, which seems to be the only ones they have is the Andy Griffith Show. So. Don't remember, but I know I didn't pay the eight dollars. I think this is what this was really marked at before when they had it. Uh, this one I was really happy to find. Uh, this is season one, part one. I already had season one, part two, so now that completes this, and that is Cat Dog. This was really good to finally uh, find this to complete that uh, season. Don't remember price. Uh, this next group here, I was getting. Uh, they were all like a dollar eighty-eight, or I think I might have even paid two eighty-eight. But at the same point, uh, these are all Disney titles, and adding the reward points, so that's a hundred points for every one of these as well. Uh, first one here. This one was. Uh, the higher priced one. I think I might have paid three for this. And that is Jake and the Neverland Pirates Battle for the Book. With a slip. Not only the slip, on the inside, you get... I don't know if it actually stated it on the back. Uh, bonus. Uh, Jake Neverland Pirates School. No, cartoon shorts. No, that's cartoons, uh, but for parts one and two, 
Uh, fire genie. No, it does not state that I can see that it comes. Checkers. It's got a checker game in it. And I'm assuming this is just Jake's bandana or it's a cloth uh, checkerboard. Because felt, it felt really kind of thick and I was curious of why once I opened it. I said, always oh, like getting little bonus uh, things in there like that. But this one I think was about three bucks. And that was the Disney Junior. Then uh, another one here was uh, Disney's uh, Good Luck Charlie. It's Christmas. It's always, always like picking up these Disney titles if I don't have them at a really low price uh, to get them points to add to my rewards. Uh, there was actually still more there that I did not pick up. I picked up stuff that seemed a little bit more interesting for me without going uh, crazy. Uh, lab rats. Every family has its glitches. Uh, Sunny with a chance. Sunny's Big Break Volume 1 on Disney Channel. And Austin and Allie, All the Right Moves. These were all the Disney ones that I did pick up, and I, didn't, I know I had left at least like three other titles that I just didn't grab. And uh, the rest of these are all the Blu-rays that I've grabbed. Did not have this one, but I did find it with a slip, and that is Downsizing. With Matt Damon. Bounty Killer. Which I think uh, some people have found at Dollar Tree. But uh, this was only three. So. That was alright with me. Picked that up for three bucks. Uh, Friday the 13th Part 3, 3D, and this is the red and blue lens 3D. It comes with a pair of the uh, glasses in there. You can see. Uh, I believe that was also $3. I mean, plus they're also knocking stuff down recently. Uh, I was happy to find this. I said, this is the only one I've seen in all of them and i do look through all the blu-rays when i am there and uh that is fortitude the complete second season now we got the first season a while back at dollar tree so i was happy i looked this up i'm guessing they only have three seasons and the third season i looked like they only had uh maybe five episodes so at least now i have the majority of the show i can at least start watching it and it was nice that it actually had a slip so I was happy about that. Uh, another one. This one uh, was two fifty. My well, I ended up being like a dollar eighty seven, dollar eighty eight after their uh, markdown on this. Um, it was the Purge election year. Uh, this one I did see in a. Uh, this one came in a clear case. I think it really looks good in the clear case over uh, the blue case that I did see one in as well. Um, I already had the. I already have it on uh, HD DVD, but I would grab it on Blu-ray. Uh, this one was five minus whatever they were char the the price drop was, and that is the Italian Job. Just seems to be that yellow with the clear white. Or the clear case just kind of looks looks good over that uh, this one here was marked down to 250 so this one's either 188 or 187 because one of them was 
that price. There was another one like that, but it wasn't marked down. The exact same thing, but the cover art was different. And that is the double feature face off and snake eyes. So this has got the band like this. The other two had the images both going on each side. Um, so there's a difference there. So in case you're looking for this, uh, they may have just marked down this cover art version over the other one. Um, the good thing is they are both on separate discs. And out of all the stores I've been to, I had to go back to uh, the, this one that I saw this at because I wanted to get this. And it was the uh, collection. All the other stores didn't have it. I even told uh, the woman, I picked it, I grabbed this last night. And that's why I wanted to wait on this video when I knew I was going to the big lots. And I told her, I was like, you're the only store out of all these locations I've been to that has this version. And that is the Cloverfield 3 movie collection. Uh, I already had the first movie on Blu-ray and then I had the first and second on the DVD pack from there. They are also selling, uh, that I've seen is the second movie, uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. I believe it was Cloverfield Lane or Par I can't remember which one, but one of the other two they are selling on Blu-ray for five. So this pack was 10. So it was kind of easier to go with 10. And then after the price drop, it was like eight something. So I was glad to get this, save some space, have all three movies in one shot. That is it for that haul. So now I have one more video to do, which I won't do until tomorrow. So that way that, that'll be, uh, the last one for that and that's the goodwill thrift uh goodwill flea market and uh salvation army that i had stopped at so once again thanks for watching subscribing commenting all all that and uh see you